Happy New Year! It is the Yoki Foodie King, and I'm here with you today. It's January 1st. We had a massive snowstorm. We had about six inches of snow here in good old Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. And so, hey, New Year Bowl games are on, and uh, hey, let's cook it up. We're gonna do some tri-tip today. And pretty much what I did, I bought probably about a two and a half, almost three pound piece of meat. And it had some fat on top. I skinned that off, trimmed that off just like you would a brisket, all right? Just so you did a quarter of an inch of fat on there. I put some kosher salt on it right there, okay? Put that all over it, did that for about, oh, probably 15 minutes, let it sit in the fridge, wash it off, dry it off. And then you're gonna put some meat tenderizer on there. I'm gonna put some garlic salt. I'm gonna put some wow your cow. All right, and then I'm gonna put some uh, black pepper because I like black pepper on everything. And then I'm gonna do some Montreal steak seasoning. I'm gonna do that and I'll be right back. Olive oil, you do that so it can act as a binder and hold the seasoning on intact throughout the whole cook on top of your All right guys, so I am back. All right, we seasoned the meat and uh, we put this olive oil on the meat first on the tri-tip so that way when you put all your seasonings on there, it's gonna hold them seasonings together in with the meat, all right, for the whole time that it cooks. And uh, so I'm excited. I'm gonna cook this thing fat side down so that way the moisture can hold within the tri-tip, all right? It's gonna come out super juicy. Uh, we're gonna set the smoker. It's actually set right now at 250. And uh, so now that it's at 250 uh, degrees internally, we're gonna put this meat in there. And we want this meat, this tri-tip, to reach about 120 degrees uh internal temperature of meat once it gets to 120 degrees we're going to take it off and we're going to sear it and then i'll let you know what we do from there all right there's nothing left to do guys i'm excited we're, we're open a few are bright so uh let's get to cooking all right all right there she is all her glory the smoker is at 250 degrees i'll probably crank it up a little bit to 275 after about the first oh, 20 minutes or so 25 minutes and then i'm gonna put the probe in and make sure the meat gets about 120 degrees but again we had about five and a half inches of snow i'm freezing you can see my breath so ain't nothing can hold me down oh no i got to keep on cooking gonna start to see you all right here we go well would you look at that 120 degrees Let's see what she looks like Gonna take this off because it's 120 degrees internally. Now I'm gonna put this on my grill and sear it. This grill is at 450 degrees. I'm gonna put it on there and I'm gonna smash the heck out of this thing down to get some good sear marks. All right. We'll let that go for about three minutes and then I'm going to turn it about nine degrees leave it on there for about another three minutes I'll put it fat side down first to get that good sear well got a little flame in here kind of burnt the top of it but I'm okay with that it gives it a little good char flavor this has been going about three minutes so now I'm going to turn it 90 degrees, and now I'm going to sear it that way for the last three minutes. So I did it three minutes, three minutes, flipped it over, did another three minutes, now I'm going to finish it probably about in two more minutes because temperature is almost right at 132, and I don't want to overdo it. Okay, treating about 131, 132. I'm going to take it off, let it rest for about 10 minutes with some butter on top because it's still going to continue to cook. It'll be perfectly. Okay guys, I brought it in. I cut three slices of butter, put one in the end, the middle, and at the other end, just super thin pieces. Okay, just kind of glaze the top. Let it rest for 10 minutes, because it's gonna to continue to cook. 
And man, it's gonna get super juicy. Juicy, juicy, juicy. Okay, it's been 10 minutes. Let's see what this thing looks like. It's glorious. Or not. Oh, yes! My friends! That is what a tri tip should look like. to tell y'all and the more we cut the more juicy it's gonna get <laughs> thank you jesus okay this is the other side that i did the fat side up you can see that fat got a little crust to it oh yeah baby it's gonna be so tasty it's just it's glorious it's glorious uh so it took me about an hour all right had the smoker up to about 250 after 20 minutes, start to 275. Kind of crank the heat up. Uh, and man, I waited till it got about 120 degrees. Then I seared both sides. I really took it off about 123, but I, I seared it. When I took it off, is at about 130, 131. So I seared both sides for about six minutes each. All right. And so when you cut this thing, man, you just want to make little tiny slithers and that's all you want to do oh man yeah pink in the middle you got that bark on the side my brother's gonna flip his lid because he's not over here to try this oh my lord Amazing, I gotta get a bite. Alright, gotta get a bite. Oh, alright. <laughs> I mean, meat pitch, home run, this is how you do it right here. Alright. Wow. That tastes so good. I'm gonna show you a better angle. Pokey Foodie King. Exactly what it should look like right there. See that bark on top, that, that fat? Oh my lord, see it smoking? Get a whiff of that. Are you hungry or what, guys? Good lord. I'm gonna plate this up and then I'll show you the final production. best taste of meat you'll ever have stick with me the Oki foodie king master Oki foodie king and your chi will be strong in cooking and grilling and making your family happy Woo! see you next time this is the Oki foodie king have a happy new year